never imagined myself being a firefighter in the Navy. I started out, I was a civilian firefighter before I came in here, but I was from a real small town in uh, Iowa. So, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of excitement going on. I went in to see, you know, see the Navy recruiter, asked what was the closest thing to being a firefighter, and he said, damage controlman. So I said, sign me up. Uh, you want to make sure that the equipment that you're going to take on scene works properly and is ready to go in the event that you need to go handle a casualty in any way, shape, or form, fire, flooding, toxic gas. You gotta be physically and mentally tough. You know, uh, those bells, they don't they don't wait for anybody. They go off at all sorts of times. You may get done working a, working a 12, 14, you know, hour day. You go to lay in your rack and 15 minutes later, somebody rings a bell and there's no one else. It's, it's you and that's your home on fire. So you gotta be ready to mentally and physically to stand up, put on all that gear and go fight it for however long it needs to be. Got the alpha fires is pretty much a wood paper. The Bravo Fire, which is any flammable liquid or oils or hazmat that may have spilled and caught on fire or paint. Um, Charlie Fires are electrical fires. The Delta Fires will be the jet ski flight deck. I've never experienced that, hopefully, I never have to, but um, we would just work with Crash, and at the last resort, we would have to actually jettison the jet off the side of the ship, um, but hopefully, it wouldn't come to that. During one of our uh, workup underways to get ready for deployment, we did have a fire and just started up. We had to respond to that at about 10 o'clock at night. We had a bunch of guys who had just shown up weeks before, you know, brand new. And you tell them, you try to teach them all you can through word of mouth, you know, you run drills, but until you know, you see some shooting out flames at you, you just don't know. You don't know the heat. You don't know that, you know, who's going to panic, what steps are going to be taken, if they're going to be the right thing. And that right there proved to me that these guys are good to go. It instills faith in your team, just knowing that these guys, like, they got your back 100%.